to Booktubeathon. It is day seven. It's the last day of Booktubeathon. We will be making a wrap-up video tomorrow, so this is not going to be like our official end to Booktubeathon. But we are going to be doing our daily update. Yesterday morning, I happened to finish the book by Nora Roberts, Affair Royale, and it was an okay book. Like I said two days ago, it wasn't my favorite thing, but because it was written so long ago, it, it still was okay. And then today I read my last book of Booktubeathon and I led the led I read The Longest Ride by Nicholas Sparks. That was the book to movie adaptation and I watched the movie today as well. And the book was a hundred times better. The movie was awful. It was awful. The acting was so bad, but I pushed through and I watched it. It was kinda cute at the end, but it was awful. Except for the old part. <laughs> yes. That's the, what I thought too, yeah. The Carly's old, here. The Carly, Carly! The infamous Carly. Carly! She'll be in a few of our videos later on in the week. Yes. So the old parts were cute, but the like current parts with like Britt Robertson and uh, Scott Eastwood sucked. Awful. So I am not officially done yet. I have about 200 pages left to go, but I am currently reading, what is this? The City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. It is, it's not my favorite. I'm not a huge fan of the series to begin with. The fourth book in the series is actually pretty good because it mostly featured Simon, who is Clary's best friend. I honestly do not like the relationship between Jace and Clary anymore. I'm so over it. Like, I don't care if Jace dies. He can do that. He can go in a hole with Sebastian and just die if he wants. But like, I'm so over their storyline. I want to read more about like Simon and then Luke and then Maya and everybody else except for Clary and Jace. But of course, they're the main protagonists in the series and it's not going to end unless they have a happily ever after. I'm also, <laughs> I'm also halfway through the movie. It's kind of a funny story. I have a little, like I have half of it left. So I'll finish that tonight and be officially done with the book Tubathon. And now it is time for the challenge. Since Emily wasn't here yesterday for Booktubeathon Day 6 in our video, she is sleeping. going she was sleeping. She is going to be in charge of doing the challenge today. So, Emily, without further ado, let's take it away. So, for this book challenge, you have to describe a book using book covers. So, we decided to do Cinder. So, here we go. I have all my books right here. Cinder's about a girl who is a cyborg. See? A little piece in the eye perfect book cover. I know. She meets a prince. This prince is a boy. Can you can you believe it? The prince is a boy. And he wants her to fix his android name Nancy. But she has a guardian and she has two stepsisters. And her step, not even her stepmother, her guardian sends her to the palace to get tested to try to cure the sickness that has killed one of her sisters. There she meets the prince again and they fall in love. And he invites her to his ball where at the ball she gets taken. Yes, taken. And from there she learns she is actually a princess. And then she runs away. And after she runs away, this leads to the next book, Scarlet. And that is it for book two with on day seven. Tomorrow we're going to be doing a wrap up video talking about all of the books that we read this entire week. What's our favorite ones? Which ones didn't live up to the hype? Uh, which challenges we thought we were the that? Bleh, which challenges we thought were the, the best, best and the ones that we liked the most? And basically the behind the scenes of book two with on 2016. So we will see you guys tomorrow, but that is it for us. So thank you so much for watching and keep reading for the rest of your lives. Happy reading. It's great. Okay. Ah, bye. Bye. bye.